Carolina is supposed to move into phase three of reopening this week, but with all the new cases of COVID-19 lately, there's concern about if it's too soon. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Phil Orb and I'm Genevieve Curtis. Governor Cooper said he'd decide early this week about possibly delaying phase three. Here, what's part of phase three bars and gyms could reopen. Restaurants and businesses could have a higher capacity inside and larger group gatherings would also be allowed. But the state has been clear it wants to see coronavirus trends leveling off or dropping before moving into phase three. And that still hasn't happened yet. The percentage of positive cases rose to 10% today. There are more than 1,400 new cases. Some good news, though, hospitalizations are down for the first time in six days. In South Carolina, they hit a new high today at 692. The state reported more than 900 new cases today, and more than 16% of tests were positive. Several things contributed to the spike in cases. One that we've seen over and over again is outbreaks at local restaurants, whether it's fast food places like McDonald's or more formal places like Reed's in South Park. Both had to close because workers got sick and a lot of people want to eat out this weekend because it's Father's Day. But we learned today more places have shut down for outbreaks. Every employee at Stagione in Myers Park has been tested because a worker there tested positive. So far, tests have come back negative, but some employees are still waiting for results. The restaurant owner told us the restaurant is getting a deep clean this weekend. Waterman Fish Bar in South End is also closed. Management says they were notified on Wednesday about a staff member who tested positive. They say they isolated everyone who has been in contact with that person and are requiring certain people to get tested. Both restaurants hope to reopen on Tuesday. Health officials have said over and over again that we should be wearing masks to prevent more cases. Charlotte and Mecklenburg County have considered making masks mandatory. This week, Governor Cooper is expected to announce if he'll create a mask requirement. The CDC is planning to update its recommendation on masks soon. Right now, they're recommended in public places where it's difficult to social distance.